I was at a movie recently and I saw a woman breastfeeding right in the theater and I was like, lady, no outside food allowed. I do have this girlfriend. I don't have her. She's not in a cage. I have a free range girlfriend. And we have a long distance open relationship. So what I'm saying is I know a lady. I, I could have been a comedian if I had a little bit more brains, but I was born with good looks. Yeah, you are so, handsome. Yeah. Yeah. My parents tried setting me up on a date recently. This is how they describe her. Gary, she's perfect. She's the girl version of you. I'm 5'6", 140 pounds. I suck at sports. I am the girl version of me. So what kind of things do you do for fun? Uh, I like to play video games. I, uh, you know, I spend time with my cats. I have three cats. We write books. We are authors. We wrote a book about amnesia. A book about amnesia. That book is called Forget About It. Got a thing. So, uh, any ladies? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, any prospects? Uh, no. <laughs> My name is Leo Lytel. I am 15 years old. You're 15? Yup. Uh, how long you been doing this? Two years. Wow, since you were 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my inspiration for comedy comes from being a 15-year-old boy. You know, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So what grade are you in high school? I'm a freshman, so. How's that been? Uh, awful. Too fresh. <laughs> being in front of all of America on this huge world stage. I'm really kind of nervous about it. <laughs> I want to do good. All right, man, have fun, OK? OK. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm, I'm very good. My name is uh, Leo Lytel. How old are you, Leo? I'm 15 years old. 15 years old. Good for you getting up on that stage. Yep. What do you do? I am a stand-up comedian. Ah. Good. 15. Now, what's the largest group you ever performed in front of? Uh, 40 people, something like that. So this is far and away the biggest group now. Are you able to go to a club and actually perform, or are you too young? Uh, sometimes there are restrictions. Like, my mom had to learn a bunch of the liquor laws. Like, sometimes they'll let me out, sometimes they won't, and sometimes they stamp my hands with these little X's to make sure I can't get drinks at the bar. I see. <laughs> the stage is yours, and good luck. Okay. Okay. Get started here. Right. Hello, my name is Leo Lytel. I am 15 years old, and I'm, uh, single. <laughs> I've been single, let's see here, pretty much my whole life. <laughs> pretty sure it's because I'm unemployed. I live at home with my parents, and I don't have a car. <laughs> These are all big red flags. It's why I don't get much attention on Match.com. <laughs> <laughs> I do, however, have a lot of success on Tinder, where I am a buff 28-year-old Georgetown medical student with a Porsche and a trust fund. <laughs> now, I'm a teenager, so I'm in that awkward phase of life. I'm kind of a mutant creature, part adult, part child. <laughs> but uh, I look back on the early years of childhood fondly. You know, those good old memories, like when you get in the van and it turns out the man doesn't have any candy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Of course, nowadays, candy won't cut it. We're in the 21st century. You need something like free Wi-Fi to up the ante. <laughs> That's really all a kid wants anymore, speaking from experience. And uh, I want to thank my mom and dad for being so supportive of my comedy. My mom helps me book gigs, and uh, my dad helps me write my material. So I like to think I'm pretty far along in the entertainment industry because I've got two things that a lot of people strive to have. I have a Jewish writer, and my agent is a girl I used to sleep with. <laughs> Thank you. I'm real like that. <laughs>